Hello everyone, this is Ron from Ron's uh, Drone Tech and, uh, and Camera Channel. Back again here with another video. I think you're going to like this one too. I did a range test. Yes, I said range test with everybody's favorite little drone, the DJI Mavic Mini Drone. And uh, it wasn't only a normal range test, but I used the Yagi uh, range extender antennas on the Mavic Mini to see how far I could go with it. Um, I'm going to say my best was just a little over 5,000 feet with just, you know, uh, the using the standard antennas without any uh, range extending, uh, uh, you know, antennas put on it, just the normal antennas. So let's see how much further that I got than 5,000 with the, um, the range extenders. I, I won't spoil it for you, but at the very end of the video, I show you the screenshot of, you know, the um, little recording the Fly app does of the drone flying along. So I stop it. Took a screenshot when it was at its father's point away from me. So, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything here. And But I do have some bad news, folks. Um, when I was doing the uh, the screen recording, um, it only recorded for 18 seconds to quit. And uh, I had that ha randomly happen to me. I'm screen recording on an iOS device, the, I the iPhone 11 and with a built-in screen recorder and every once in a while it quits just when you need it the most so I don't have a screen recording but as I'm flying out I'm kind of shouting out the when I get the like 1,000, 2,000 so um, I hope you know that uh, keeps you informed along the way and um, and I do want to mention that I will have a link down below uh, where you can purchase the Yagi range extenders on, on Amazon. It's Ron back from Ron's uh, drone tech and uh, camera channel and my voice is cracking early in the morning here but um i got up early this morning i'm down here at the beach a little overcast conditions here but the um but the wind is very low like less than five miles per hour so it should be ideal for this range test and what we have for you today is um i'll put them up close to the camera is the yagi antennas which uh you as you all know they're the affiliate they're the official um Range extenders are the affiliate, the Philly and Ron show Tuesday nights, eight, eight, and nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what today? We have the Yagi's here. We have the Mavic Mini drone here, and we're going to see what kind of a range and signal strength improvement we get out of using these, um, you know, these uh, high quality uh, Yagi uh, range extenders. And if we have time, we will also uh, compare them against the the old power parabolic style antennas and see if there's any difference of see if the Yagi's are any better or any worse or so on. So with no further ado, let's get up up and out of here. Okay folks, uh, here we go. We're gonna, you know, uh, we're gonna take off here now. Everything looks good. We had to do a, cal uh, a compass calibration before takeoff, but everything is good. We got 93% battery life and why well, we don't have 100 is because we had the, all this messing around with compass calibrations and what not, so uh, here we go. All right, she's up in the air. She's got a good hover there. Um, looks like she's hovering real good, so we're gonna start our recording. Uh, hold on, we're gonna stop it. Uh, let's see, uh, what's, good? we're gonna make sure we're in video mode. Uh, 2.7K. Uh, 30 frames per second. Okay, now we're going to start the screen recording. I mean, the, screen, the uh, regular recording. We've got a screen recording and a regular recording. So we're going to just put everything on auto here and uh, up and away we go. We'll do this range test at about 100 feet up. All right, and we're up at we're up at 100 feet. Okay, and uh, here we go. And I guess we're going to stay in um, just normal mode uh, rather than uh, sport mode. Uh, save on battery. I don't know. Maybe we should go sport mode. Do we have sport? I don't even know. I, I don't fly the thing enough. Do I think we do we even have sport mode? If we do, how do we get into it? But oh I see, I see. Uh yeah, we want the sport mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
All right, we're over a thousand feet out. We're just kind of hovering the shoreline here. I'm gonna call them out at increments here. We're over 2,000 feet. I got a beautiful signal, no breakups yet. I mean, this is awesome. Awesome, folks. Can we just pass over 2,500? Over 3,000, still a perfect signal. Wow, this is this is incredible. I, I think the best I've ever done is about 5,000 feet with this, with just, you know, the regular, regular antennas. Alrighty, so everything's still looking good here. Uh, we have 78% uh, battery life still left. We're over 4,000 feet now. Everything is perfectly clear. Good signal, no breakups, no interference. Uh, we got a weak signal alert and uh, on top there, but every but I didn't get any breakup or ever just a weak signal alert. Let me move around a little bit because we're approaching five thousand. Oh, I just saw my first robot, robot, robot. We're over five thousand feet, but we got the robot. We're robot real bad now. We've got fifty five hundred feet and. We had a we had a break up there. Okay, we've got nothing now. Okay, we got this connect message. It's going to do return to home on us soon. It's returning home on us. We got over fifty five hundred feet, but she's returning home. She yeah, return home. Okay, folks, uh, what happened is, um, you know, I let her fly all the way until she went into a forced return home mode, and I lost everything at that point. Uh, I lost the FPV feed and my telemetry on the screen, and the controller, you know, beeps when it's in return to home mode, but it would stop beeping, so I kept trying to push the uh, return to home button and get it beeping again because I had no idea whether it was coming home by due, uh, due to the loss of telemetry. At about 4,000 feet uh, back, it uh, with 4,000 feet to go, the telemetry returned. So at that point, I knew it was starting to return home. But I went almost another 2,000 feet uh, before I re, you know got the uh, FPV signal back again. So it was a little bit of a harrowing experience there for a couple minutes. It was odd that I lost, you know, uh, 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 telemetry, uh, especially um, FPV. You know, not so much, but. Uh, you know, I've never seen that happen before with a forced return to home where I lose everything, including the telemetry. But, um, you know, it was a couple of hairy moments there. You can see in the screen where I move closer and closer to the end, you know, of that little um, top of that dune there with the fence. I'm getting closer. I'm holding the thing, uh, the control up high to get a better signal. But um, all, you know, ended well. So, um, you know... Um, it was a successful test. All right, back to the video. All right, folks, I just got signal back. She's uh, 3,100 feet out, but I had a lot of uh, signal loss, no FPV. And of course, when she spins backward, when she spins to face me head on, the um, I think most of the transmission system is towards the rear of the drone, the antennas and stuff. So uh, that's part of the problem. It's best to bring this thing backwards. I probably should not let it go in to return to home mode. I should have flew it back uh, manually when I experienced the uh, the loss of signal. 
So uh, just a heads up, a power user tip for you people. Uh, I don't let this go and return at home because what it's going to do is going to turn around and face you and it's going to lose a lot of signal. It, it's much better if you keep the back of the drone to you. But uh, we're coming back now. we got plenty of battery life. We're at 50 uh we got 56 percent battery life and um she looks looking real good just glad she went, didn't run into that real tall building because i could not force her up uh i should have put her up higher number one i, I shouldn't have stayed at that 100 feet that's oh, oh every time you do one of these things you make a mistake i should have got up higher number one but um but we're almost back See those ominous skies out there. And we're not going to have enough battery life to do the uh, the test with the um, par parabolics uh, today. So we'll, we'll do that another time. So we're only five, we're less than 500 feet away now. I think I hear it. I hear it. It's way up there. 228 feet up. She's coming down. There she comes down. Uh, it's not going to hit the pass. So I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to land it manually here. Remember that the Mini doesn't have precision landing. All right, we're gonna stop the uh, recording the drone. It was just a little over nine minutes, the, the full flight. We landed on 45 45% battery life. We started with 93 and we went, uh, I, you know, I lost my um, FPV. So the last time I saw it, we were just a little bit over 5,800.